Hello everyone and welcome back to the main channel. Today we're talking about Terrence and Me. Terrence and Me is a Blu-ray collection box set documentary hosted by Frank Skinner and it appeared on the series 8 uh, box set which was which is the John Pertwee box set. It's over there in my collection because I don't have it to hand. Um, but before we get into the review I want to talk about my personal history behind it. Now, to get behind what this personal history is, here's a brief synopsis of what the documentary is about. Frank Skinner is a massive Doctor Who fan, and he always wanted to meet Terence Dix, he met him once, he's got to sign autograph from Terence Dix, and he realised that he lived a few doors from Terence Dix and never got to say hello. So this documentary is for him to learn who Terence Dix was, from his family, from his friends, from his fans. When I say fan, I mean other writers that inspired, were inspired by him. He wrote all of the novelization that a lot of episodes in the world of Doctor. Now, the reason why it's my personal history to this is because last year, 2023, I created a Doctor Who documentary called John Comer, The Man Who Was Doctor Who. Now, you'll see at the end of the end card, as in, like, I always put it at the end, end of every end card. I've done for ages now on every channel I use end cards for, which is this channel, uh, the Weird Side and Taskmaster World. So I always try and promote it and push it that way because it is one of the best things I've done. Now that documentary wasn't just inspired by Terence and me, but was inspired by the whole idea of uh, Blu-ray bo uh, collection box set documentaries and that one, uh, that that one non blu ray box set documentary that was on the Above and Snowman DVD. Now, the, I need to stop saying the one now as well, so that's on the uh, list of agenda to do. Just stop saying the one now. So, Terrence and Me is my favourite documentary of all time in the world of Doctor Who, like in box sets. Obviously, it's a different ballgame when you talk about TV film documentaries like ones that win BAFTAs and, and Oscars because they're made differently to this. This, these are a different type of way of doing it. Uh, these are more, these, these are built differently to your average documentary and that's why these are incredible, right? These should win awards but I don't think there's as many Blu-ray and DVD extra based awards anymore which is sad. There should be. Now, Terrence and me, I've seen millions of times by this point, literally, I would watch it on a loop. So I know a lot about it, and it's one of those documentaries where, when you watch it, you can then find, once you've seen like 50, 60, 70, 80 times, you can find the hidden nuances, so you can find like the beats in it, and when you're trying to recreate something like it, like I was, you can go, ah, I get it, you do this, and this, and this, and it goes, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one. And you can look at it in a more of a analytical, here's how they've done it, here's how I can recreate that element, plus use elements from other Doctor Who documentaries. So, I do have favourite bits and favourite moments, and of my overall opinion. My overall opinion I'll save till the end. So my favourite bit, I think... I think, there's a lot of it is gentle, amazing. I quite like the bit at the beginning, the bit where you see, where you see Frank walking. I uh, like the bit at the end, uh, this is why I was for anyone that hasn't seen it. I like the end because it shows that, because not many people would know, I, d I don't think about Frank Skinner being a Doctor Who fan in this extent to be like us lot. He's like one of us, not a this year average Doctor Who fan. Um, and I think that that's what sets this apart at the end here because it, it's like you can feel that his emotion, his oh, 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 is actually real and it's not put on, it's not done because he's got this job, it's like a a proper gas, it's a proper love for it, and it, these documentaries are made by Chris Chapman's team, not just Chris, 
Chapman, but his team, right? Because there's multiple people that edit them. This is like a, if I remember it rightly, it's one of those where it's like Chris would edit bit of it, and he would do it how he would want the baseline to look like. So it's the first edit. Then what you do once he's cut it up and made sure that it's the length that it, he has been commissioned to make it, he then sends it off to someone else, uh, and then they spend their time at that point doing all the fancy effects, trimming down some of the other edits, and doing all the other editing bits, because that's the final edit. Chris just is an initial edit because he has the footage and it's a lot easier to transport the footage that, because footage on cameras are a lot of space on your computer, so doing it like that then the Chris can go, right, this is what I want, these are all the clips I need, this is how we're going to do it, all I have to do now is send him those ones, they're only sending everything we've filmed, and so his computer has got a lot more space to it. So, I think that the content within the documentary is very good, because you learn more about who Terence Dix was personally, because you meet his wife, uh, his kids, who are a lot grown up now, and yet, then you get to meet his, his friends, and you just meet, how, you just see how people are in awe of him, how people loved him, and even after he finished working on Doctor Who, he was still loved, beloved, and just wouldn't, he's, he's one of those people that you wish you knew, Terence. And you can get the sense that Frank's going to regret not going up and saying hello to him because he lived only a few doors down. He, he, he sort of, you could just feel that the disappointment with Frank of not ever meeting him at his house because Frank lived near him and that throughout has gone, well, this is Frank Skinner's personal connection to Terence Dix, but Here's him trying to say to everyone else, going, look at how incredible this man was. You, you might think of all these other people, and and you might only talk about s such and such a body, but this is Terence Six. Even though he is, might only be really well known to a uh, ver very selection of people like us, or people with his other work, this is more of a mainstream going, Look, everyone else, there's this incredible man that needs to stick with us in, in history. He needs to be a lesson to learn from. Because his skill, his talent, his amazingness is there. It's just not recognised enough. And a lot more things need to recognise that. And Terrence and Me is one of those documentaries that perfectly recognise who he was. Terence Dick's his office is one of the most incredible things I think I've seen within this documentary due to the fact that not because of like the way it was filmed or anything because all of it was filmed in amazingly but what I really liked about it was that the element of the his room hadn't been touched. Now there's a few things I would do to protect that. I would uh, try and get one of those glass things that you'd gently cover things up so that you can open up as a museum or you can open it up to Doctor Who fans that want to come and see it. But if I could say a downside to this, because I don't want to be too positive because it wouldn't be a balance of fair review. Now, I need to stop saying the word now, so I have more list of uh, things to stop doing. So the only negative I think I have um, has got to be that it ends. I just don't want it to end. I think that the the shots are really good. There's nothing you can negatively say. I know that what if you had asked uh, Chris or anyone who was on that shoot that day. You would say that their negative would be the library. Because I don't know if they... Because obviously in the media industry you have to do location 
uh, recce, which is where you go to the location and see if it's suitable and and, and look what it looks like. So I don't know if they did that, but I don't think they expected it to be that empty, be that abandoned. So I think if I have to give a negative, I think I'll go with their negative if they didn't do a location recce for it. So I like to say that there is nothing wrong with it. Uh, I do think there is something wrong with it. My my error, my thing that I would go, no really, was the fact that I know that the thing isn't about Katie Manning, but Katie Manning know known him quite well, for instance. So I, I would have liked the Katie Manning section to be three, maybe four seconds longer. Or I like push out one more story. I think all the other interviews are a perfect length and I like how the round table aspect, the cut in and out of the round table, like back and forth, back and forth. But I think that for this, for the for the Katie Manning aspect, I think it could have been slightly longer or they could have come back to it later on. Um, it, it just would have uh, enhanced more of a, what was it like, on set, if that makes perfect sense. Because it makes perfect sense to me, that's all. Um, I think that having more of that would have elevated it ever so slightly more. I do think the rest of it is perfect. I think Frank Skinner is amazing. Frank Skinner, I, I don't know if you know this, other than a comedian and a radio presenter, he's a very good TV presenter. I would highly recommend watching any of his documentaries. He doesn't do them alone, obviously, but this one shows his showcase talent off by himself. So, there you have it. My overall thoughts of Terence and Me is that it's amazing, it's incredible, and if I was going to rate it out of five stars, which we're never going to do with anything, but theoretically if I was going to, I would give this a five, I'm going to, I mean, even though I have a slight thing saying that Katie Manning's section could have made a second longer, because it was only a second longer, I don't think I can give it four and a half stars. I'm going to have to give it the full five stars. Thank you guys for watching. Time to watch. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe to the official Tom Mason YouTube channel.